This is the brand new season 10 tier list and I'm going to be starting it off with Duckside. So with Duckside, this guy recently just got a new buff, a new update. This dude is basically a whole new person. At first I had this, I had a tier specifically for him being the absolute worst in duck tier, but this season I've been using him and along with all the other heroes we have, but this dude in particular is going to make a huge comeback all the way from a nobody to a samurai. Samurai is like the equivalent of an A tier, so Master is like uh, the highest, obviously. That's like a S tier, Samurai is A tier, Shinobi is a B tier, Student C, uh, Nobody D, F. Really, really, they don't even matter because they are nobody. So yeah, I'm going to be putting Duckside in Samurai. For right now, he's going to be in Samurai. He's definitely a strong A tier hero, especially with the Wrecking Ball tactical that he has now. It's 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 Loki is overpowered. It's, it's kind of hard to use, but if you can use it right, he he's he's basically invincible um and then with his shield he can turn into the wrecking ball right he can turn into the wrecking ball and have his shield up at the same time so he's basically taking no damage so well no nah, I'm, I'm gonna leave him here i'm gonna leave him in somewhere i'm gonna put him in master but I'm, i have a reason for why he's not captain oh captain this guy i don't he, okay his shield his dome shield thing it got a it got a buff it can take a bit more damage than what it used to be able to take his fire hydrant aqua aqua blast yeah his aqua blast also is stronger now it's like a it's like a range so if you're closer to his aqua blast it does more damage but if you're further away from it it does less damage which is i think it's a pretty fair um, balance but he's still not really an a tier type hero he's not really a samurai warrior he's like you're like a shinobi. I'm just gonna send him out on a side quest and hopefully he doesn't die. Momoi, the little cute angel girl. Hmm. So, I, uh, well, her ability it just got reworked. It wasn't really much of a buff or nerf, but this girl she boosted the team's uh, heal time, which is still good. I think sh I think they should actually make it faster, just a little bit faster. Probably like 0.2 or 0.34 seconds. Point three or four seconds not nothing too crazy it should be it should be an obvious like whoa that's like super fast time because if it was that she would be the highest of a b tier she'd be the highest but since she's just a good overall team player she's probably going to be like a lower shinobi she's like a lower shinobi but you would definitely want her on your team but you don't want her you don't want to be <laughs> you don't really want to be the one using her on the team all right we got this psychopathic maniac this guy has schizophrenia of all sorts bow and arrow he's he's not he's not good y'all at all honestly he has the tactical grenade right doesn't even kill the enemy even if you hit all three and then he has his ultimate which doesn't really kill the enemy unless they're standing still but nobody stands still in this game not even the bots the bots be better than the real players but this guy he, he's not he's not that good y'all his ultimate garbage oh oh his passive his passive his passive his passive ability the all the ar thing where he can get more ammo and stuff that is pretty solid but somebody has to be a nobody so i'm gonna put Bo in here he doesn't really contribute anything to the team so you're a nobody i hope they i hope what they should do to this guy, what they should do to Bo is make his his tactical ability have like a slower cooldown time. No, a faster cooldown time. Oops, faster cooldown time. It should be like 15, 20 seconds so the tactical grenade actually has some use other than like 30 stinking seconds. Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's 30 seconds. But yeah, he's a, he's a nobody. We got my bae, my favorite boo thing, my girly girl, Cypher, I'm a Cypher main. She, okay, I'm not biased. I'm not biased, but I'm going to put her where she belongs, right? She deserves to be in a master tier. But with this new season, not only did they make her more overpowered than what she already was with her EMP, it can do damage, y'all. She can do, I believe, 50 damage when you first throw the EMP if they're like, if it's like a direct hit. But then otherwise it does like 14 to 24 if they stay inside of it continuously. So not only does she have an ability to get rid of everybody else's ability, which is the EMP, she can also do a recon scan like Phantom and Young and, well, he doesn't have the scan. He doesn't have the scan. But yeah, he can. she can do the scan and she can disable everybody's ultimates. And with the new season, SMGs are better. So her faster reload time is helpful. So she's definitely the 
best hero in the game right now. But I think she's starting to get a bit more hype now because people are starting to understand she is overpowered but underrated. So, uh, no, she's the master of all of these youngins down here. Alright, so now we got Young Dumb. Young, Young Dumb and Broke. We got, we got Young. He's, he's really not good, honestly. But he's better than Bo. So he has the big old recon scan that can scan for a pretty big range and it stays up for a pretty long time but otherwise it has like a 1 to 20 second cooldown so it's like once you use it don't even think about it again really it's like a one time <laughs> it's a one time use but yeah he, he's, he's a good hero but he's not like a hero I would recommend somebody to use on a team so if you want to use a recon hero use like a stinking She's not a recon hero, but she can be used like a recon hero. So use like a, a Cypher instead of a Young, a Phantom or a MKR. Ooh, MKR. Yeah, I gotta talk about him a little bit too in a second. But yeah, as of now, he's gonna, he's gonna be a student. He can still learn the way of the Shinobi to even have a chance of becoming any better. But yeah, Bo, he's a nobody. Lucienda. She, bro. I'm so glad that they fixed her ultimate ability now it's actually stronger and I've seen her being used a lot more with the black hole ability and her stinking molotov I'm just gonna call it a molotov I don't know the name of it her witchcraft sorcery is what I would call it though yo she may be an actual samurai right so not only is she pretty fast she's 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 fast she's a, an attack hero she also has a molotov which burns the enemies right and it has like a nice cooldown time one. So it burns the enemies. I think it can go through walls. If I'm not mistaken. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I think it can go through walls. I feel like I've been burned by one of those through the wall before and it killed me. But her black hole ability can be used similarly to Cypher's ultimate EMP ability, but it does not disable any any it does not disable any enemies abilities. A little tongue twister there. So if she had like a recon scan, yo, like so she could actually help out the team. Well, she can with her black hole, huh? Nah, she's not. She's not that tier though. She she doesn't. She just doesn't have what it takes to be a master. But she does have what it takes to be a samurai warrior. So I'm gonna put her in front of. Hmm. Their uses though, like he's a really good defensive hero. She's a really good attack hero. This goes down to who I would have, who I'd prefer to have on my team. Oh, also about Duckside, yeah, I'm gonna put him a little bit lower within the Samurai ranks because he has a pretty big, he takes up most of the screen. It's kind of hard to see when you're shooting at an enemy. So if you're trying to hit fire, just forget about it because you can't even see who you're shooting at. So that's what makes Lucienda go in front of him. She's slim thick, so she's gonna be better. She's better and she has better abilities in terms of team play. So she can help you out with the black hole. And if you have a, if you have a good Lucienda on your team and they know what they're doing, you're gonna have a lot of high kill games and most likely win a lot more of them. MKR just got a, an extreme rework done to him, but it was actually a pretty nice rework. This guy can now throw down like a, an, a like a launch pad type thing that allows his whole team to go like into the sky and scan down on recon, but only he can see the recon scans while he's in the sky um, and like coming down as of now. I think they should fix that. I think if you have an MKR on the team, everybody should be able to see everybody on the floor if you're in the sky. But as of now, I guess it's just probably gonna be too overpowered if they did that. But for now, I'm gonna have to say that he's a really he's he's a nice he's a nice shinobi, right? He's a nice shinobi. His his what's his yeah, his tactical ability, I don't understand it yet. It, it's kinda it kinda sucks, really. It kinda sucks. I don't recommend anybody to use it. I, unless I just don't know how it should be used. Should it be used against vehicles or the humans? Nobody knows. Anywho, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be higher than Cap. Mm. Should he be higher than Captain? Yeah, in terms of like what his ultimate ability can do, and it has a nice little cooldown time. I don't know how it's longer than. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how it's a shorter cooldown time than Young's, which is ridiculous to me. But hey, yeah, because of his ultimate cooldown time, he's gonna be beating Captain Ember, the Mad Scientist, my guy, or a chemist, or whatever one he is. I think he's just. I, I don't know. Anyway, Ember is a really good hero. Like if it, like, the thing is like his fear that he invokes upon you when you're inside of his ultimate ability. If you're stuck inside of Ember's ultimate ability, you you're like you you want to get out. Nobody's just going to fight him inside of there. You literally cannot see. 
it's not like M uh, Cypher's EMP ability where you can still see and just like take damage, but you can still kill the enemy. And it ain't like hers. Everybody can see. The dude literally takes your eyes out. So if you're inside of a billion building, if you're inside of a building that you're not familiar with, and this dude pops his ult, yeah, you're, you're basically dead. You might as well just give him your um, give him your soul so he can do some research on that thing because he is a true samurai warrior. And his gas grenade, his uh, poison gas grenade. That's also really good, and he can see you through it. Next up, we have the nicely dressed, well-professed professor and scientist, Sunil. This season, for some reason, oh, that wrong. So this season, for some reason, Sunil isn't as good. When I when I was playing with him, his strafing speed slowed down some, so it's not as fast as it used to be. But his ultimate ability is still what makes Sunil really good for a team uh, for a team player. He's a really good team player. So he does the extra damage with his ultimate ability and he speeds up the movement speed of your allies. So mm, this season, yo, I'm going to have to put Sunil like around. I don't know if I should put him in front of Ducky Momo, uh, Duck Side. I don't know if I should put him in front of him because Duck Side is bro. Nah, duck side is cold. I ain't gonna lie. I want to kind of put him in front of her, but she's still better. But yeah, that's why I'm gonna put Sunil for now, cause he's just—he's not the same man that he used to be. We have the pizza delivery girl, Maggie Waggie, and she this season. Oh yeah, this season she got the new tactical roll. I like it personally a lot more than the tactical grenade. If you're using this right, the tactical ability, the roll, 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 you'll be in a good—you'll be in a good standing, yo. And her overclock uh, arrow, arrow zoom. I remember arrow zoom. Her ultimate ability is still super cold, making her she okay. If we put Put her in a 1v1 against Sunil. I think she will win for real. Mm, but she doesn't have it. Oh yeah, she doesn't really affect the team much. So this goes down to team play. People who I have the people in Samurai who can actually help out the team a lot more. MKR can help out the team, but he doesn't really do anything else other than that. But the Rockets, but they suck. So Ember, you want an Ember on your team. You want a Lucienda. You want a Ducky, a, a Duck Side. All of these people help out the team in a great way. But she just she. Just doesn't really help out the team but she's still a good samurai warrior so that's where she's gonna stay right now but she's really good especially with the tactical role i would put her here but i'm because sunil is a team player i'm gonna leave him there all right this season they they kind of slightly buffed sienna's hill speed but it still could be better it still could be better. I think that they should make the healing speed. I think it should heal more and a little bit faster. So she can be like like a... Well, I guess she can't really be a tactical nurse now, can she? If she could, that's probably why they didn't do that, huh? So she's like... She's a true support hero for the team. It's out of... I'm gonna have to put... I'm gonna have to put her like close to Momoi in this regard. Because she can heal your teammates while they're knocked on their knees. So you don't gotta worry about them. But most people are starting to finish off teams now. So they're starting to finish people off but she on the other hand speeds up the the hill time of your overall team ah uh, i'm gonna have to switch this around i'm gonna have to do the switcheroo jack there because i'd rather have a momoi on my team than a sienna if the sienna isn't near me she's not helpful but if the momoi is not near me she's still helpful so that's the only reason that i'm putting momo in front of sienna we got watchman the watch man he bro okay the turret the turret has gotten better right the turret has gotten better if you're using this guy like an attack hero i would probably put him here right if you're using him like an attack hero but if you're using him like a defensive hero like he should be used because he's just He's just a good, he's a good hero. He's a solid hero, but I still wouldn't really want him on my team, right? But he's better than Captain in terms of, if you're camping, if you're camping, Watchmen is better than Captain. If you're camping, Watchmen is better than Captain. If you're on the go, Captain is better than Watchmen. So, but he has the, he has a little shield thing and he has the dome. I think the dome is better than the shield. The dome is better than the shield. So that's why I'm, that's why I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Watchmen there. He's just a shinobi. He's like an average shinobi warrior. Now we have the lady in red, Phantom. She can go invisible. She she can make your whole team go invisible, not just her. Scratch that. She can make the whole team invisible, right? And she can um, throw the recon scan, which is helpful to the team. She has two things which is very helpful to the team, including her passive ability 
it doesn't help the team, but if you're using a bar 95 or just a sniper, that thing can straight up one tap to the head, like with a blue shield or purple shield. I'm not sure if it's a purple shield she can one tap, but if you would one tap to the head for sure with a blue shield with her, you can you can pop some tops. So for now, I'm thinking I'm gonna put Phantom as a samurai warrior. She doesn't deserve to be up here with Cypher anymore because now I realized when I was playing in the team deathmatch the other day and when I was testing her out in game, if they, if they hit you with like a couple of bullets, it breaks the invisibility. But then again, nah, 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 I'm gonna put her up here. She's still an S tier, a master hero. This is the way of the dojo. Peace.